Hi, everybody. Good morning. I'm trying to stand my phone up. Happy New Year. Happy Monday. This is Devoted Heart Lauren with the Monday Awareness Upgrade, the first of the year. It's kind of tempting to not uh, do this today because it's, I don't know, sort of a holiday. So I'm uh, compromising and doing it in bed. <laughs> so my title for today is Take Off Your Hats and Be Free. So what this means is releasing all of the versions of yourself, all of the identities that you associate with so that you can become the next version of who you are. I, um, I, I did a whole share around the mind and kind of like stuff that I've been experiencing the past year and you know, witnessing the mind and and breaking through that. And so then today I wanted to talk about limiting beliefs. So the things that you think about yourself that prevent you from moving forward because you're stuck on something, something that you believed that was projected onto you in the past, some identity that means something to you that therefore means you have to do this or that you can't do this or whatever. So all of the hats that you wear, the, you know, I am a woman hat, the I am a yoga teacher hat, the I am someone's daughter hat, the all of the different roles that we play, the different relationships, the different job titles, the degrees that you've gotten, the accomplishments that you identify with, where you live, the language that you speak, your culture, all of these things that seemingly determine who you are and give you words to introduce yourself, right? But all of the things that you would normally say to introduce yourself to another person who you've just met are all part of your temporary and impermanent nature, okay? So all of the stuff that you didn't choose about where you were born, into what body you were born, to whom you were born, right? So your family, all of those things you didn't choose. And yet those are the things that led you to certain opportunities, certain decisions, certain career choices, certain relationships, everything sort of built upon upon the initial karmic imprint that you didn't choose, right? So noticing all of those things that you're carrying around And maybe some of them are serving you. Maybe some of them are really working for you. And maybe some of them aren't. But there can be both negative, quote unquote, negative versions of identity and seemingly positive versions of identity that keep us stuck. So, for example, a negative version of of an identity would be that, um, you know, I am not good at technology, right? I'm not good at technology and I never have been, and so it would be really hard for me to do A, B, and C, whatever, okay, to figure out something, uh, to upload my videos to YouTube, right? I mean, that's not like a big technological pursuit, but that's something that I could tell myself. And then an example of a a quote-unquote positive identity would be I am smart, or I am pretty, or I am funny, stuff like that, that would, like, if someone told you that, you would take it as a compliment. However, we all have certain attachments to what those things mean. So because I am smart is one that I've had a lot of revelations around. Okay, so because I was told that I was smart and I did well in school and I was good at math and this and this and that, um, that sort of set me up to have other people project expectations onto me and for me to carry expectations of myself of what I'm supposed to do in the world. So it took me many years and a lot of, unraveling my own mind to decide to fully commit to this life of of being a yoga teacher and sharing this wisdom inspired by ancient texts and and vedic philosophical the the vedic philosophical body um it took me a long time to kind of get over the idea that smart people have to do a certain thing right so i should be working in some corporate setting i should be you know, innovating technology or public health or like all of the things that get regarded very high in this society that smart people do, right? That people from a certain background do, these sorts of things. So I can notice that and then be like, well, wait a second, is that, is any of that stuff that's been projected on me what I actually want to do and what actually my soul is aligned with and that I would feel happy doing in this life and fulfilled doing? 
Um, so it was a whole process of kind of noticing that attachment to a certain identity and what it means and then letting go of it and being like, oh, well, actually, I'm just going to do what I feel called to do and, and lean in. Uh, so, yeah, so those are some examples, but just noticing all of the different roles that you play, all of the hats that you wear. And if you take all of them off, so if you let go of even like your name, okay, so you have no name, you're not attached to your body, you're not attached to your family, you're not attached to your location, you're not attached to any notion of good, bad, right, and wrong, then all of a sudden, you're free to make choices from your soul. So each moment can be new. What do I feel? What do I want? What do I want to create? And there's no obstacles. There's no limiting beliefs that are getting in the way of you actually taking steps towards what you want. So I want to offer a, a mudra that we worked with last week in my yoga class. This is called Gupta Mudra. You bring your hands together and interlace the fingers with the pointer or with the um, points of the fingers going in. So I have my right finger on top of the left and then the right thumb is going to come on top of the left as well. And then you kind of make it into this tight little ball. This is called Gupta Mudra and you can hold it um, just around the belly button. And this is a gesture of releasing limiting beliefs and tuning in to your inner sanctuary. So the inner secret that's inside of this little container, this little cavern that you are connecting to and you are nourishing and preserving as you take off all your hats to be free. So let's sit for a moment, letting the eyes close and just bring into mind all the ways that you would describe yourself, all the ways in which you would introduce yourself to someone else. And so how would you describe your body, how you look, how would you describe your background? How would you describe your family? What does your family do? Any expectations that were placed on you as a result of your family, your background, your upbringing, your lineage? And whether that's to do more, right? And be better, be a certain thing, achieve a certain thing, be in a certain role, or whether that was... Mm, we're this way and therefore you can't do any of it. You're not entitled or deserving. And I think we all have threads of that. But just notice. How you see the world based on the language that you speak, based on your cultural background, who you surround yourself with and how that contributes to your identity. And then notice how you would introduce yourself to somebody else. So my name is Lauren. I live in Jersey City. I'm from wherever. I have done wherever. I went to college here. I went to grad school here. I'm a yoga teacher. I've traveled here and there. All of these things. And even for me saying that much, you might start to notice things come up or triggers, resistance. So just notice, what are those details? What are those little facts of your identity or so it seems in this body, in this lifetime? Who are you relationally? So are you a mother, father, sister, you are automatically a child of someone, even if they are not present. And so what are the roles that you are taking on based on your relational identity? What hats do you wear and how do you move through those different roles? Anything else that's coming up around who you are, who you think you are. And then, can you practice taking off all of those hats? 
shedding all of those versions of your identity just for right now. So they're, the hats are all still there. You probably have to put some of them back on to go about the remainder of your day. But just for right now, just trusting that it's safe to be nobody or to be the deepest and purest version of yourself, your soul. And so you are no longer your name, you are no longer your body, you are no longer your family, you are no longer your job, you are no longer any of your degrees, accomplishments, certificates, diplomas, certifications, you're none of it, it doesn't matter. You're no longer expected to be in a certain role, to do anything for anybody. You're free. Let the mudra release so your palms are soft and open. You can rest your palms in your lap or bring them to your heart or anywhere else that feels meaningful. You are free to create whatever you want. You are free to be whoever you want. Nobody is expecting you to be any certain way. So who do you want to be? Who are you? What do you want to create? What do you want to do? What do you prioritize? And what are you devoted to in the world? chant the Jyotir mantra which is about transformation from darkness to light so letting go of the temporary connecting to the permanent connecting to the infinite and transforming all of the illusion Om Asatoma Satgamaya Tamaso majo tir gamaya Mrityor ma amritam gamaya Om Shanti 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 Bow your head to your heart the luminous nature of who you really are, unconfined by any of the hats, any of the roles, any of the identities. And trusting that you can always connect to this place, even if you are at work or you're doing something for your kids or your partner or your family. You can always connect back to this notion of freedom, the expansive nature of who you really are, and recreate. Letting the eyes open, lifting the gaze. See, my phone is still where I left it. (laughs) Cool. Thanks so much for joining. Happy New Year. Um, I shared a a 2022 reflection on Instagram and Facebook. If you read it, um, I'd love to hear from you. Let me know. I have one spot open for private one-on-one coaching with me, coaching for transformation. If you're interested, reach out and I'll let you know about all the other fun things that I'm planning. Have a great day.